Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Today we are going to do a little side questing and jump into a couple of side missions. Or main missions, I should say, rather. Uh, we're actually going to go right now. I completely forgot that I needed to get an interpreter for Kakongo. So we're going to jump... Alright, so we are going to do this mission under the cover of night. Boy, the night sky really is pretty. When you live in the city, you can't really enjoy sights like this because of all the lighting and everything that goes on. Unless you're way outside of the city in the countryside, or just out and about. Okay, so we are heading here for... So that we can get our interpreter. Maybe collect a few soldiers along the way, and by the looks of it, some containers of resources that we need. There should be a Kikongo English interpreter somewhere in that area. If you extract him, it could be plenty useful for us. Also, why do you have the lights lit up around this tree like a Christmas tree? Donna. Ooh, we're gonna take you. Definitely gonna take you. Go ahead and take him. Why not? Mm -hmm. He looks like he's got something. He's coming too. Roger that.
high-level guy here. Okay, I'll take that. Uh -oh. This is probably him right here. He's coming too. Roger that. Mm. He's got a skill, so we'll go ahead and take him. I really don't take anything below the seas at this point. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Because I'm really about that point, I'm trying to get my levels up. But I also need to upgrade my bases some more so that I can have the maximum amount of. guys in each team. Anybody in here? Nothing in here. Ooh! Precious metal, thank you very much. Even if it's small, I'll take it. Anything in here? Yes. Fuel resources, you can never pass those up. Especially late game when it takes fuel to make everything. Okay. Okay, got them down. gonna save one of these that I can slip out on. How you doing? Help me! Nice blueprint. Okay, hang on. Let me. Take him and hopefully he won't die. That's the target. Okay. I thought it was one of the soldiers. Okay. That works too.
Thank you kindly. All right. Let's see what else we have on the side ops. Uh, we got this. That's not really a extraction. Uh, and nothing really noteworthy at the moment. Okay. Water pistol is ready. Thank you very much for the uh, fire. Oh, crap! Where did you come from? What the hell? That was weird. Go ahead and drop a cage right here. Try and catch up some of the animals that I can get. Actually, since the next main mission isn't too far away, we'll just go ahead and pick this. Go ahead and send this on its way. A lot of filler missions that comprise the main story. I don't yeah. want to do too many of these that are just kind of like go here, grab this guy, kill this guy, blow up this tank. I want to yeah. actually focus on the com actual components of the story and not just oh, we need to get this so we yeah. can get back at Cypher and then do this mission so we can get our troops higher so we can fight Cypher and vice versa. Because there for the the fifty plus missions that they have of the main story, there is quite a lot of filler. So So let's go ahead and link up here. Good. He captured it alive. Oh nice, I got Sonic. Awesome. Damn, can I hook this up to my Switch? I need to update some shit. That download speed, though. Pretty much all rank and file type dude. Yeah. Stay on him. Okay. I need to be aware of that chopper though, though I don't remember if the chopper is that much. Yeah. Why 
they're taking their sweet time getting inside that uh that jeep. Come on now. Time is money, dude. All right, we're gonna try and we're gonna. Oh. We have no fix on the target. Not even a predicted field of movement. All right. we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Remember, this guy will call the meeting off if he thinks he's being tailed. You got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. We just stay. We'll just stay off to the side of him. Oops. Come on now. I don't remember how this mission plays out. It's been a long time since I played this. I'm trying to get back into the uh, swing of playing the game. Stay exactly on the perimeter. One passing up a lot of uh, resources, though. But that's stuff that I can always get later on. Oh shit, I yeah. thought he saw me, I was about to say. Never mind. He just saw a bunch of jackasses on the road. do this. His vehicle stopped. Is that where he's meeting the target? Good night. Okay, as long wait. All right, keep going, keep going. Do you do your thing? That's an enemy gunship. Yes, I know it's an enemy. Yes, I know. Cut a man in half. Tread yep. carefully, boss. Yes, I know, Ocelot. I know. I know about gunships. Switched vehicles, huh? You don't think he spotted you? Alright, come on, hurry up. Get get in the Jeep so you can start up. I was wondering why they hadn't left yet. They're still waiting on their driver. Come on. Oh, come on, it's not this serious. He just took a nap.
Oh come on, dude! You could have seriously just got in, got in the, the driver's seat and gone. All right, now all is right with the world. You can get down the ladder, you can get in the jeep, and you can go. This is one of the more annoying and tedious missions because any little small thing can potentially glitch the mission and then nobody will move at all and then you'll have to restart from a checkpoint. Alright, are you gonna get in? Yes, thank you, finally, Jesus. Alright, let me get out of sight. You have no fix on the target. Not even a predicted field of movement. All we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Remember, this guy will call the meeting off if he thinks he's being tailed. You've got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. I actually think I have an idea here that I can do. If this works, let me try this. Come on. As nasty as it is, it actually works in some of these missions. Our man. get in the position hopefully my little trick works and they hopefully don't see me walking right by them I should have equipped the, the sleep grenades for this particular mission but I don't ever use them
Got him. Well, it's not the fancy way that I wanted to do it, but that's okay. Okay, bees. We'll go ahead and take these guys. They seem like they got some decent stats, so that's cool. Yeah, he's an A combat guy. We'll go ahead and take him. He's coming too. Roger that. All right, there's been a few hiccups on this mission, but not too bad. Honestly, forgot that this guy takes off on the chopper, but that's okay. Let's see, is there a... here. And another one here. And another one there. To see what we can catch. Alright, where's Pequot? Arriving shortly at LZ. Alright, Pequot, hurry up. We have limited time before they spot us. you guys. Mission complete. Great work. Alright, and D-Horse is at max. The Major spilled his guts alright. His nuclear arms business was just a rumor he was paid to spread around. He doesn't even know who's paying him. All his instructions came through a cutout. Who else would be behind it but Cypher? And this nuclear arms trading is clearly connected to that yellow cake. He thought the same thing, which is why he tried to investigate ZRS himself. He said something else that caught my attention. That ZRS had tried to kill some old man. How did one old man get that kind of attention? We're soon gonna fire out. Rogue Coyote. Good. He captured it alive. Two gerbils. That's it. Mad centipede. Boss, about those walker gears spreading all over Africa. Huey's got an idea for a counter weapon. Come on back to base. Another weapon to surpass Metal Gear.
this. It's a variable, multi-legged tank. A spin-off of Metal Gear technology. Big fan of spin-offs, isn't he? I hear he borrowed from the Soviets in Costa Rica, too. The design allows for a lot of freedom in setups. It's based around a central core unit, so you can quickly reconfigure the hardware to suit any sort of mission parameters. What the good doctor is trying to say is that it's customizable. Naturally, it will raise the probability of success for standard missions. But it functions as an improved deterrent by increasing your preemptive strike capability against enemy elements. You just deploy it in a war zone, and its superior firepower puts the brakes on enemy attacks. Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! Okay. Cause I'm having deja vu here. I don't like him any more than you. But we need this. You think it'll cut it in the field? Turning radius is better than any tanks. That's great for regional skirmishes. Tech like this is popping up all among the PFs. Best way to deal with them is to fight fire with fire. I'll await your instructions then, boss. So do we have your approval to commence development? Fine. <laughs> Consider yourself off the chopping block, Doctor. For the moment. Battle Gear development has begun. Okay. View development progress by visiting the hangar at the base of the R&D uh, platform. Got a new mission for you, boss. The client is one of the kids you rescued from that mine. According to the kids, people often disappear from the mine to a place called Nzoya Badiabulo, the Devil's House. On top of that, Sainer's involved with the place. Check your iDroid for the mission details. Alrighty. Take us a shower real quick. Boss, nice work saving the kids.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and prep for the next mission, and then we're gonna catch you back up in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna try and make these short and not too long, and try and cut down some of the filler in between them. So we are gonna pick back up in a little bit, and we're gonna get to the next story portion in just a little bit. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.